Hi everyone, I'm Lisa Yen. I'm the LACNET's Director of Programs and Outreach and I'm at ESMO 2023 in Madrid with De Dr. Jennifer Chan, who is the Principal Investigator of the Lyons Phase 3 study of cabozantinib versus placebo in patients with advanced NETS after progression on prior therapy, otherwise known as the cabinet study. Dr. Chan is going to explain the results of the Phase 3 trial that were announced yesterday. Thank you for being here today. Thanks so much for the opportunity. So as you may know, the cabinet trial was a phase three double-blinded study of cabozantinib compared with placebo in patients with advanced neuroendocrine tumors, specifically designed for patients who had had prior therapy. In the trial, there were two cohorts of patients, one with extra pancreatic nets and one with pancreatic nets. What we um, reported yesterday was that the results showed that there was efficacy of cabozantinib in both of the cohorts. Um, there was an improvement in progression-free survival in patients receiving cabozantinib compared to the patients receiving placebo. We did not observe any new um, safety signals. The adverse events or the side effects that we noticed were quite similar to the known safety profile of cabozantinib. We saw that patients who received cabozantinib in both of the cohorts had um, a higher chance of some reduction in disease burden. Um, so we're optimistic, we're hopeful that this may become a new treatment option for patients in the future. Wow. So I know you said there's two cohorts, extra pancreatic and pancreatic. So this includes lungs as well? Right. About 20% of patients who were in the extra pancreatic net had lung neuroendocrine tumors. More patients had GI neuroendocrine tumors, and there were some patients who also had unknown primary tumors. Okay. And what kind of grades does this include? Yeah, we had grade one and two mostly, but there were a small number of patients who had higher grade disease. All of these patients had well differentiated or moderately differentiated neuroendocrine tumors. So Dr. Chan, I noticed the room was packed. There was a lot of cameras out, a lot of tweets. Why are you so excited about the results of this study? Yeah. So I'm particularly excited about the results of the trial because I think it may add to the options that we have for treating patients with neuroendocrine tumors. And this is particularly relevant for patients who have received prior therapies or may have received um, all of the known effective therapies. So I think this does offer um, additional ways to control disease and improve outcomes in the future. Yeah. So Dr. Chan, this is years of hard work. How long have you been working on this? So the trial activated in 2018. Um, and it was at the end of July of this year that the DSMB announced the results um, and the recommendation to stop the study early. At this point, everybody who has participated on the trial has been unblinded, so we know their treatment assignment, and patients um, who are receiving the placebo have crossed over to, to cabozantinib. So this is five years of hard work, and how many patients and how many sites? Yeah, so the data that we presented yesterday was 197 patients in the extra pancreatic net cohort and 93 patients in the pancreatic net cohort across a number of different sites within the Alliance and other cooperative groups within the NCI's National Clinical Trials Network. So this sounds like an incredible amount of hard work. Thank you for all your hard work. It's encouraging to see you and all the investigators, all the patients, families, everyone who's poured their hard work, their commitment, their dedication to this. So we really want to thank you and congratulate you and we look forward to hearing the results. Thanks. I'm also incredibly grateful for the patients who participated on the trial. You know, we are uh, enormously um, thankful for their contributions and what we've learned and we do think that this will have a direct impact on future patient care. Thank you. Thank you for giving us hope.